Hey, welcome to uh, Right in the Coupon for William Hill. Uh, what a setting, lads, eh? Between the three of us, we've played here a couple of times, haven't we? Certainly have. Twice. <laughs> I would play twice. Did you, mate? Yeah. You probably played it at a low level, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate! <laughs> <laughs> right, we're desperate to get a Coupon up, so we've got a couple of punters off the street. Uh, Alec Ray bets on Rangers every week. No, no, not at all, no. And Mark Wilson bets on the winner of Strictly Come Dancing once here, didn't he? Because <laughs> Boren betting Celtic every week, they always won. <laughs> right, on to the big game. Fact that Celtic can win the league. Yeah. Does that help Rangers or does it lessen their, their chances? Uh, no, listen, just have to do better than they did uh, the last game. The last game was abysmal here, 4-0. Uh, and it, it, they're in the paper today saying that they're going to get in Celtic's faces. It's the only way you can actually play against them, try and get tight to them, try and close them down and try and play them a more back to front game. So uh, if they do that, then they may well pull off an upset. But you'd have to say Celtic are strong favourites. Mark? It's, look, I think for Rangers players, a nightmare situation for them. I mean, what they've went through and out here a couple of weeks ago where they were, I mean, hammered, you know, an absolute down. And then they have to go to Celtic Park and try and put on a performance. I mean, they must be, I'll tell you, they must be nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, Celtic won the league, you know, the, the atmosphere is going to be there. It's a big test for them. I think Celtic will run over the top. And I must mm -hmm. admit, I've, I've said sometimes these games might be close and Celtic might edge it. I can't see it on Sunday. I think Celtic will be far superior on Sunday. Big news today as well. Steven Gerrard looks like he's going to get the job. Mm. What well, do you think of that news? I think it's an unbelievable coup if they can pull it off. Uh, I've speak to some of my friends today. Um, the, the one thing I would say is, is you need to kind of be careful because if it actually backfired, it would be a major setback for everyone concerned by the club. But, um, you know, the betting's usually gives you an indication and he's uh, odds on favourite at the moment. And... Um, It'd be exciting times, you know. You would maybe imagine a, a senior guy beside them, maybe a Gary yeah. McAllister. Which, what combination that would be? Mm -hmm. You know, they, they just need a name at the moment. You know, someone yeah. to actually but try I, and galvanise That's the, the thing. I'm, I'm surprised. That I, I must admit. I know. I know Stephen Gerrard's a name. You know, and great. And they come. It's another big name coming to Scottish football. But for me, I thought Rangers needed somebody with experience who's managed at a, a good level. Now I know that's hard to attract, but Stephen Gerrard has just really come out of football. He's only in. To, to reserve team management. I know he knows a lot about football, but it's a, I, again, I think it's another big gamble. I think it's... It depends the candidates, doesn't it? You know, who's yeah, actually there? Who's there? Who's there? Terry Venables, I think, was in for it. Was he? Has <laughs> <laughs> he gave up? Has he gave up? <laughs> 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 but you must, have, you must have ran rings around Stevie G a few times, then. Well, there? listen, I had a few battles with him, but see, see, getting back to this point, there's been a lot of names bandied about, mm. and people are going, oh, really? Is that what they've... But mm -hmm. this one actually excites a lot of people. You know, uh, if you got him in, he could command and demand after the board as well. Mm. Uh, it would be a coup, season tickets and things. Some of the guys have been mentioned, you'd be thinking, oof, you know, a lot of people have not been particularly happy. Everybody seems to be excited, and that's why I'm trying to kind of put a lid on it, because if it doesn't come off, it's a setback for everyone mm. at the club. It'll be able to attract players, that's the one thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, if they're down south, if he goes to people and say, look, you want to come and play for me, there's loads of players and good players down south that'll say, I, I'd fancy that. You know, playing in front of 50,000, and Stevie Gerrard's my manager, mm -hmm. I'll take that. So that's the one good thing, but... Again, he's a young manager. Is it, is it right for Rangers just now? I'm, I'm not too sure. All right, man, I'm going to put you in a, a, your worst nightmare. Picture yourself as a Rangers player now. You hear this no. news today. Does Steven Gerrard's getting the job. Does that lift you for the game on, on Sunday? Well, see if you're not lifted for the game on Sunday as a Rangers player just now. Mm. I, I mean, there's something up. So, um, I think just now, for Rangers players, they are playing for their future. The ones who, you know, we've heard rumours that ones that are going uh, anyway. But the ones that will be sticking about the club, you know what it's like when a new manager's coming in, you think he could be watching me every week. Well, he will be watching me yeah. mm -hmm. every week. So they're playing for their futures. You don't want to ever leave a club like Celtic, Rangers, where you're playing in front of that, that crowd. It's only when you leave it, you go, geez, what, a, what an opportunity I had here. So these guys, they'll find it hard on Sunday, but I mean, <clears> they, they've, got to, they've got to put in a performance, not, not only for this season, but as I say, their futures next season. And whoever whoever's coming in, will be watching that game Sunday because it's broadcast all around the world. Uh -huh. I'm still laughing at that Terry Venom joke. <laughs> 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 um, say like poor result last week against Hibs. Has yeah. that got any effect going into this game? Nothing at all. I no. think uh, you know Scott Brown's out there making plenty of noise. It's uh, the dream come true to win the, the title against your biggest rivals in front of your fans. I agree with Mark. I think I said in the radio last night as well that I felt as if it was a case of if this doesn't galvanise you, go just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Mm -hmm. Step up to the plate, show that what you've got, and then try and persuade whoever's coming in the door that you're the man to stay uh, long-term for Rangers. Because if they come and get a, a trouncing again, then all of a sudden there's question marks all around. And 
with a new manager ability to try and bring in his new own players anyway, so make up his mind. Mm-hmm. What can Graham Murray do differently for the game here? Well, the game here, he sat, he sat off Celtic mm-hmm. and just got nowhere near him. Now, that was obviously his tactics. The players then, I think, should have done better on the pitch regardless of his tactics. So, the way they started the game at Ibrox, so, I, I think you need to you need to try something similar. I mean, when you see Hibs playing against Celtic, you've seen Hearts earlier on yeah. in the season, just that high press, putting them under pressure mm-hmm. and rush, you rush Celtic into mistakes. And Hibs and Hearts got success for that. Rangers, to a certain extent, at Ibrox got yeah. success. If you set off Celtic, the player on you, they're eventually going to score. We'll create that many chances. So, he needs to look at that side. I don't think just sitting along your 18-yard line, you're going to get much success at Celtic Park. Uh-huh. A few of the Rangers players, dumb, uh, toys at the dummy. D- toys at the dummy? Toys at the dummy. <laughs> toys at the pram uh, uh, over the week. Um, Morelos and Doherty, yeah. do you think you'll bring the two back into the game? Uh, no, I'd be surprised. I think coming scoring at the weekend may well be the catalyst to, to, to give him a chance against Celtic. Uh, he's got plenty of legs to chase people down. Uh, it's just about the actual tactical awareness of trying to press people at the right angles. And... Um, Doherty, I'm not sure either. I thought the midfield done relatively well. I have to say, I was really disappointed in Hearts on the day. I thought mm. they offered nothing to the to the cause. Uh, it'll be a totally different ball game. But I, I agree, it has to be a high press. Mm-hmm. At least if you go having a go, then people say at least they ah, tried something. Right. Whereas if they sit off and, and put in a performance similar to here a couple of weeks ago, then you know they'll not tolerate it again. Uh, mm-hmm. it, was, it was unbearable and. Um, Celtic all run out comfortable winners Mark you were in the last Celtic team that had the chance to win the league against Rangers how would that go? <laughs> two players got sent off did you play? I had an off day <laughs> 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 that was not a good day no, uh, did, did just, did, can you lose your head in these games? of course you can uh, of course you can get carried away I mean you know what it's like you, you have all this build up and all the talk and all the you know interviews all week and then you got there for the warm up you see the atmosphere you got it for kick off and again, the atmosphere ramped up through the warm-up. So, of course, you can lose your head. Celtic, I must admit, but Celtic have been very good at, at keeping their head. Mm-hmm. Under Brendan Rodgers, it seems to be a different side who can keep their mentality in, in games like that. And that's how they've proved to be you know, winners on so many of these occasions. I think it'll be the same again. It's slightly different. I think there'll be a lot of excitement about the place and a lot of excitement in the dressing room. Mm-hmm. But if they can keep their head and if they score, and if they score early, then it could be a long day for Rangers. Mm-hmm. On a Hibs great result against Celtic last week yeah. can you see them winning all four games and finishing second? Uh, listen I think it'll be difficult if you look at the actual uh, there's a lot of tough games within that um, but I think obviously the weekend yeah, I think they can kick on I think they can put pressure on Rangers draw level uh, if, if Rangers don't get that result they, they, they crave at Parkhead uh, I just think the way the things have panned out Hibs are the team of momentum at the moment mm-hmm. they've hit form at the right time yeah. You've seen the, the energy levels, it was interesting listening to uh, Young McGinn after the game since for one of the first times he's ever took cramp, which was understandable, the, the shift they put in, mm. dog, they complement each other and uh, the two boys up front have been brilliant since he came in in January, yeah. so you look at all the components, they look like the team that are most settled, so I very much expect him to win at the mm. weekend. Mark? I think, I think they look the team uh, favourites to finish setting, must have met. Yeah. I mean even, even a wee while ago they were playing good football and they didn't get some results that they perhaps should have done. Um, I just think Rangers and Aberdeen have just just drifted away at their own time just now. now. It's still a lot of work today, Alex, no, right? Yeah. It's still a lot of hard games, but the way Hibs play, the pace they've got in their team, they look like they can score every time they play. And I think, Alex, right, with that momentum and the way they're feeling about themselves just now, I think they will finish setting. You touched on Aberdeen there, and you touched yeah. on Hearts as well, who you thought were poor last week. Yeah. They play Friday night. Does that give Aberdeen a wee psychological edge? Well, th- this is a great thing about it. This is what I love about being a, a, a challenge, effectively, <laughs> where Aberdeen have the opportunity to put the pressure on the teams below them. Mm. So, you know, playing the following day, uh, Rangers playing on the Sunday. So, I fancy Aberdeen strong up there. You know, they've got a decent home record. And, uh, you know, I just feel as if Hearts are actually playing out the season at the moment mm. I think they need to re-galvanise re- themselves in the summer a wee bit more recruitment some out some in so I expect Aberdeen to go on and win that one I think that's the thing for Hibs a lot of this season they've been playing with probably no pressure they've came up they're not expected to do it now there's this talking on finish second and they have to deal with the, the pressure I was mm. talking about you know if Aberdeen go and win then Hibs need to win you know yeah. and they've not had had that a lot this season people are kind of going oh they're playing nice football and they're winning games but when you need to win it's a different mindset going into games. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Going two to three, two to four, two to three, four. Who are we saying? Um, I think it'll be Rangers, Hibs, Aberdeen. Thought you would. 
I'll go. I said Mega. I'm going to go Hibs, Rangers, Aberdeen. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought you would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on to the coupon for the weekend. We're desperate to get one. Frank McAvenny is not getting a day of coupon again. That it was all over the terrible, place on Saturday. Oh, Brutal. terrible, mate. How did he do, actually? Just I don't think he got a result off. Well, that seems a bit right for Frank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going Hibs versus Kilmarnock. I'm going for uh, a Hibs win. Mark? Aye, Hibs, can I see by them? Okay, St Johnston at home to Patrick Thistle. I'm going for a draw. Draw, right, okay. I'm going to go St Johnston. I think Thistle are struggling just now, mm. badly, especially away Good from win home. last week. Yeah. Ah, no, good win, but away from home, I think. Nah, St Johnston yeah. for me. Okay, Motherwell versus Dundee. Uh, I'm going for a Motherwell win. Yep. Uh, I'm going to draw in that game. Yep. Oh, like this, okay. And Celtic versus Rangers. I'm going for a draw. <laughs> I thought you had to. <laughs> Why are you laughing? A draw. <laughs> well, never work again. What are you talking about? Celtic. Hundred percent. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Cheers, Sai.